up to the big prognostication this morning. Which is happening a little after 7 a.m. So let's just kind of preview what's happening here. We have an event here on the stage. It'll be happening not too long from now. We'll have live coverage of that if you're listening to us live on 103.5 FM or anywhere in the world on the Sun Prairie Media Center app, sunprairiemediacenter.com. You can tune in uh, wherever you are to listen to what's happening here in Sun Prairie. Um, and we'll have that coming. We'll have some music for you to get to get keep warm if you're here, to keep entertained if you're listening from a distance. Um, and Sarah has a script or something. I don't know if we're supposed to be saying anything yet, but um, <laughs> we're, we're, we're vamping until then. Um, right now, let's uh, let's keep the, some, some energy going here. Um, and I don't know if this is... Uh, you put this song on our playlist. I don't know if this is a a, uh, a premonition of yours, but uh, let, let's uh, let's keep everyone excited here, and uh, we'll be back soon on 103.5 FM. The Sun. Welcome back to downtown Sun Prairie. My name is Todd Valeski here with Sarah Valeski on 103.5 FM, The Sun Community Radio, and live here in Cannery Square. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good to see everyone here, bright and early. Uh, we are not too long away from the starting of the ceremony. The the event, I believe, up on the stage here, starting around 6.50. Right. Uh, there it was on. Now it's on. There we go. Okay. Yeah. And um, some mascots arriving by fire truck soon. Um, so you be ready for that. There's still plenty of room down here. So if you are, you know, just brushing your teeth and getting ready in the morning, Come on down. There's plenty of, of room, plenty of parking, and wonderful d- downtown Sun Prairie. Um, we should talk a little bit about how this whole prognostication works. So um, it's looking cloudy right now, but if that if we do see the sun this morning, if, well, if Jimmy sees the yeah, sun. Yeah, that doesn't matter to us. Yeah, Jimmy, our groundhog, um, but when the, the sun it is coming up, if Jimmy does see his shadow, unfortunately, folks, Unfortunately for us, even though I'm sure we'd all love to see the sun because it's been pretty cloudy lately, um, that means six more weeks of winter. Well, if you're not a winter fan, that would mean six more weeks of winter. As I say, there are a lot of people that would be perfectly happy with that. So we'll get a a feel for the crowd shortly of whose team six more weeks of winter and whose team early spring. Um, If it remains this cloudy and, and there is no shadow for Jimmy to see, that would be an early spring. So let's see. Um, let's maybe. I don't know if this crowd, this mic's going to work on the crowd. We'll not, see. Not well enough. Let's get. Let's hear um, whose team Jimmy sees his shadow, and we have six more weeks of winter. Round of applause. Yeah! Yeah! All right. Who is team Jimmy does not see his shadow and sticks around, and we have an early spring. Yeah! Yeah! I don't know. That sounds an even split. Pretty, pretty even, yeah. That sounds um, like an even split. Maybe, Boy. maybe a little bit. The, the people who want more winter are a little uh, more uh, boisterous, yeah, <laughs> uh, about it. But um, yeah, it, it's a pretty split group, and there are more people piling in here to uh, Cannery Square. So uh, if you you want a good spot, make sure to get here quickly. Yep, come on down. Um, places to park just off Main Street, um, behind the buildings of Main Street. So if you're coming down, those are good places to look for free parking in downtown Sun Prairie. Um, we want to give a shout out to some of our um, Sun Prairie sponsors here for not just the Groundhog Prognostication, but all the events of Frozen Fun Prairie uh, that have been happening over the past few weeks, which we'll talk about in real in just a little bit here. So the Bank of Sun Prairie is this year's presenting sponsor. Thank you to them for all the things they support here in our community. Um, visit Sun Prairie and downtown Sun Prairie. Beans and Cream Coffee House, which is right here behind us. If you've not been to Cannery Square before and you need something to warm you up. And there is quite a line for me. Yep. Uh, Au Pair in America and the Josh Erickson American Family Insurance LLC. So thank you to the presenting sponsors. Uh, these kind of fun events would not be possible without them. And uh, honestly, these are the kind of events that make some prairie some prairie. That's so, absolutely true. Thank you to all of you for coming out, and thank you for um, supporting our downtown Sun Prairie businesses. Hey, right, good morning, Sun Prairie. We are out here at Cannery Square at the annual Groundhog Prognostication. We have a very special guest, not Jimmy the Groundhog, because, of course, Jimmy only speaks to the mayor. But we do have the next best thing. You've, 
Mr. Frozen Fest himself, Steve Stacker. Say good morning, Steve. Good morning. Oh, wait. No, oh, hold on. Yeah, turn your mic sure your microphone's on. I don't know which one this is anymore. All right, now I think you're on. There we go. Or close. Good morning. Okay, right. we've got Steve. So, Steve, t tell us how you got the title, Mr. Frozen Fest. Well, we have a week-long celebration here in Sun Prairie. In, in other words, um, what we do is we rename the city for a week Fun Prairie. Twice a year. Twice a year. And in Fun Prairie, we started out, started out last Friday, actually, with uh, the sled dog uh, demonstration. You were able to see sled dogs uh, up close. That was great. And then we moved into... Uh, Saturday we had uh, some events. Ice carving. I was at the ice carving. We that was ice carving exciting. downtown here. We had some mini putt putt golfing. We had the hibernation hustle. Sunday we had uh, the pancake breakfast where you could get your pancakes flipped to you. I saw some amazing catches. There were some really good and some great pictures of pancakes in the air. And then we had uh, sledding that unfortunately we couldn't do the sledding, but we did do a sledding judging and uh, some amazing I'm, sleds. I'm gonna pause you for a second, Steve, because we have some breaking news. Jimmy has arrived. <laughs> and here come the mascots. The mascots arriving on the fire truck. So we've got Jimmy on the stage. We've got the mascots arriving on the fire truck on Main Street behind you there, folks. So, um, Steve, what was the highlight of Frozen Fest for you? Well, my daughters and I, we did Puzzle Fest on Monday, which if you've never done that, you put together a 500-piece puzzle in a uh, certain amount of time, and uh, that was a lot of fun. really enjoyed that with my daughters. What was the record for shortest amount of time? You know, I think somebody put it together in 35 minutes, a 500-piece puzzle. That's pretty puzzle. impressive. That's pretty impressive. It was a team of four. We're all so the not one there. person. Were all the pieces there? Because that would be pretty frustrating if you didn't right, have that right. last piece and yeah, the we, clock we, was running. We found a few on the floor. Yeah. Where, where we were, so. You didn't walk by somebody else's table and push no, their pieces no, no, on the floor, no, 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 no. did you? No, it was amazing. But, yeah, well, um, if you missed any of the events this year, please look at the schedule next year and, and come out and do this. Not to mention, if you're not from the Sun Prairie, not from Sun Prairie proper, um, check out our summer fun prairie mm -hmm. um, because there's – Equally fun things, not necessarily involving rodents, but there are equally fun things that happen during our fun prairie in the summertime. For sure. And yeah, we, are we, you going to be Mr. Summer Fun Prairie also? I don't know. We, we've got fun things going on all the time. In, we in sure do. Sun prairie, so, yeah, thank you all for coming out today, though. This is great. Best weather I think I've ever been to one of these at. And, and thank you to our Parks and Rec staff and city staff for organizing these, these fun events because they are unique to Sun Prairie and lots of fun for everybody. For sure. And our amazing color guard who uh, they come to these events and really start us off really well. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for stopping by, Steve. I, you, you probably need to join yeah, the other to boulders on stage, on stage yeah, there. Let's turn that one down. All right, so we will be um, starting the event soon here. Again, if you're if you're just joining us, Jimmy is here. Um, the mayor is getting ready up there, um, brushing up on his um, groundhog ease. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that is one of the things that the um, current mayor of Sun Prairie is gifted um, is the ability to communicate with groundhogs directly. So. Um, Mayor Esther is the current holder of that ability, and he is prepared to get the prognost prognostication directly from Jimmy the Groundhog, who is there in that um, little enclosure on the stage there. So, Mayor, I hope I hope you're ready. You've got your uh, your groundhoggies ready for the day, brushed up. All right, um, and uh, so we'll be starting the event shortly with the um, the color guard and the national anthem, and then we'll. The fun will happen from there. As soon as we get a signal that they're ready to start out there, we're going to toss it back up to the stage because uh, we don't want to uh, you know, step on anyone's toes up there. Right. So we'll we'll just keep filling the air until we get a cue from somebody here. That, that How's everyone feeling out there? Good? Good to hear. Everybody have something warm to drink? Or, yep. A lot of those. Yes, guys, yep. Uh, raise your cups there. There you go. Uh, we see lots of kids out this morning. Good morning, kids. Good morning. Um, Isn't that a day off of school in Sun Prairie? It should it be. It should be. It should be. I know I have to get to school from here, too, so uh, watching the clock to make sure I get to school on time, too. So uh, thanks for coming out, everybody. Thanks for coming to Sun Prairie. Oh, maybe we should do another crowd check. 
Turn my mic on. Okay. All right. So let's hear who is from Sun Prairie in the crowd. Woo! All right. Who is visiting from outside of Sun Prairie? Woo! All right. We got a good crowd from out of town, too. Who is here for their very first Sun Prairie prognostication? Woo! Excellent. And who is a prognostication veteran? Thanks for coming out, everybody. It's, everyone's welcome here in Sun Prairie. We're glad you're here. Jimmy's glad you're here. Um, and we are excited to see what Jimmy is going to tell us. Yeah, we've got the... Uh, okay, are you waiting? Is that happening now? Okay. Okay. We are going to get started then with... Uh, as soon as I can pull that up here, we are going to uh, have our color guard present the colors and uh, then give our national anthem. So uh, hold on with us here for that, which doesn't appear very well on the radio. <laughs> and we have all the mascots now coming up to the stage. <laughs> Detail. Halt. Order. Arms. Ready. Cut. Right shoulder. Arms. Ready. Cut. Present. Arms. Everybody to 76th annual Groundhog Day prognostication is hosted by the city of Sun Prairie. This annual winter celebration is a testament to the hardiness and the hopefulness of Wisconsinites and the annual tradition that we really cherish every year. We want to give a shout out to everybody, all of you who woke up early to be here this morning from both near and far to come here, Jimmy's prediction. And speaking of his prediction, we want to hear uh, where folks stand on more winter or early spring. So let's make some noise if you're hoping for many more weeks of winter to be able to indulge in the winter sports you love, like uh, snowshoeing, outdoor ice skating, ice fishing, or cross-country skiing. Does anybody want that? Yeah! Yeah! Okay, all right. Okay. Hey, let me hear it if you're dreaming of spring flowers and sunny days to brighten up the near future. I think that one wins, guys. I do want to give a huge shout out to the Sun Prairie Police Department Color Guard as well for their performance for the National Anthem. 
We want to introduce to you all of the special guests that are behind me this morning. So let's welcome Sun Prairie Mayor Paul Esser, Yay. representative of the 46th Assembly District, Melissa Radcliffe. Deanne Martin, Sign Language Interpreting Services, provided by Purple Communications, Inc. Madison. Some other special guests joining us today are Senator Melissa Agard, representing Wisconsin's 16th District. Dane County Board Supervisors, Brenda Yang, 19th District. Rick Rose, District 16. Is Rick here? Not here right now. Um, City of Sun Prairie Council members, we have Maureen Crumby. Steve Stalker, Mike Jacobs, Bob Yokish, and Teresa McElroy. And David Virgil? Virgil. Okay. All right. Well, welcome. Um, we have City Administrator Aaron Oppenheimer with us. Sun Prairie's high school mascots. Can you find them on this stage? Sun Prairie's East Kurt, the Cardinal. And then Sun Prairie West. Wolf, thanks for being here, guys. Oh, oh no, okay. Autumn Gunderson, USA National Miss Wisconsin Junior Teen, is also here today this morning. Thanks, everybody. Okay, we want to extend a special welcome to our Jimmy the Groundhog mascot and to Sun Prairie Fire and Rescue for safely escorting Sun Prairie's mascots to the event. I also want to introduce our special guest for today. This year is Jimmy the Groundhog. Hey, Jimmy. He's in there, I promise. He's just kind of burrowed down a little bit. He'll communicate to Mayor Paul Esser. That is going to happen at about 7-11 sunrise. And we'll find out whether we can expect that early spring or six more weeks of winter. Groundhog Day is the grand finale of the third annual Frozen Fest. It's hosted by the Sun Prairie Parks, Recreation, and Forestry Department. Over the last seven days, the community has celebrated Wisconsin's winter weather by going on candlelit hikes, running the hibernation hustle with Jimmy the Groundhog, carving some ice sculptures right here in Cannery Square, and much more. Thank you for everybody who participated. It was a lot of fun. Yay! Yeah. Well, for 76 years, Sun Prairie has celebrated Groundhog Day in true fashion. Mayor Esser and the mayors before him, they've translated Jimmy's extremely accurate predictions. Sun Prairie really is Groundhog Capital of the world over the years. Yeah, let's cheer for that. That's amazing right here in Sun Prairie. The city has celebrated this event in a variety of ways that include hosting coloring contests and dances, writing some stories of Jimmy going to the moon, selling one-of-a-kind merchandise, and much, much more. Before we get to Jimmy's weather prognostication, let's welcome Mayor Paul Esser. Are you ready for my proclamation? Is that where we're at? I'm sorry, I was not paying attention, yeah. Rebecca. <laughs> I'm like that student in the back of the room. <laughs> That's okay. So whereas the annual Groundhog Day prognostication in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, has been a formal tradition since 1948 and has roots dating back to Colonel Angel in 1889. It is known that Jimmy the Groundhog is an official mascot and ambassador of the city of Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, and is known worldwide as the finest weather prognosticator. Furthermore, because of Jimmy's fame and excellent accuracy rate, Sun Prairie has become known as the groundhog capital of the world. And, and, whereas with his ancestors before him, Jimmy has acquired the uncanny ability to predict the arrival of spring. As in previous years, his annual pronostication will be shared and celebrated across Wisconsin and the nation. And whereas the city of Sun Prairie, the city of Sun Prairie Parks, Recreation and Forestry Department, Sun Prairie Historical Museum, the Sun Prairie Downtown Business Improvement District, Sun Prairie Tourism Commission, Sun Prairie Chamber of Commerce, Sun Prairie Media Center, Sun Prairie Police Department Color Guard, Sun Prairie Fire Department, Sun Prairie Police Department, Sun Prairie Public Works, Sun Prairie School District, and local businesses throughout Sun Prairie sponsor and host festivities and events throughout the community to help celebrate the time-honored tradition. And 
Whereas in the early morning hours of February 2nd, visitors from far and wide will journey to Cannery Square in downtown Sun Prairie to hear Jimmy the Groundhog's answer to the age-old question, how many weeks of winter are left? Whatever the answer, be it known to all that Jimmy the Groundhog remains the most accurate and true prognosticator and is the standard by which all others are measured. Now, exactly, now I therefore, now therefore I, Paul Esser, Mayor of the City of Sun Prairie, do proclaim February 2nd, 2024, Groundhog Day in the City of Sun Prairie. Thank you, Rebecca. Very good. Thank you, Mayor. Now we want to present the Governor's Proclamation and welcome Wisconsin State Senator Melissa Agard. And State Representative Melissa Ratcliffe. I'm Senator Melissa Agard, and this is my colleague, Melissa Ratcliffe. We're the M&Ms that represent this area, and we're super proud to have the proclamation that our amazing Governor, Tony Evers, has sent for us to present to you. So Representative Radcliffe and I will read it. Whereas the city of Sun Prairie is home to Jimmy the Groundhog and is often regarded as groundhog capital of the world, and whereas Sun Prairie's first Groundhog Day event in 1948, how many of you were here in 1948? Anyone? Oh, well, hun <laughs> hundreds of radio stations, television stations, newspapers, and people throughout North America have made the early journey to Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, to seek Jimmy's winter weather predictions. And? And, all right. Whereas, for over 75 years, Jimmy's weather predictions have assisted in the planning of travel, recreation, and agricultural planting programs, and have provided a fun tradition for the people of Wisconsin and beyond to enjoy. Now, therefore, Tony Evers, governor of the state of Wisconsin. He, and Melissa and Melissa. Yes. <laughs> uh, hereby proclaims February 2nd, 2024, as Groundhog Day throughout the state of Wisconsin. <laughs> and he commends this ob observance to all of our state's residents. Signed by our governor and our secretary of state, Sarah Godlewski. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we have a little bit of time to kill before Jimmy can tell us uh, what he's thinking. He's still taking a little nap. So we're going to do some trivia. We want to know, individuals born on February 2nd qualify for the esteemed title of groundhogs. What is the term used for individuals born on any other day in February? Does anybody know that? You're right, woodchucks. Wow, I'm surprised. Good job. Good job. Do we have any woodchucks? We do. Do we have any groundhogs? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Happy birthday, everybody. Okay, what common rodent is the groundhog most closely related to? No. No. It's the ground squirrel. Isn't that funny? I wouldn't have guessed that either. Okay, where did Groundhog Day start? <laughs> but where did it start? In America, good guess. It actually was all the way over in Germany, and the tradition was called Candlemas. What animal was the weather forecaster before the groundhog? Yeah, we should know this one. Say it louder. Is the badger. You got it. Okay, what was the group that organized the first Groundhog Day at Ingle Park? Anybody know the name of the group that organized the first Groundhog Day here in Sun Prairie? They were called the Groundhog Club. Seems fitting, right? Okay, when was the comedy film Groundhog Day with Bill Murray and Annie McDowell released? Yes, 1993. Who said that? Nice job, guys. I'm impressed. You know your trivia. Okay, true or false questions now. Groundhogs are accomplished swimmers, and they can readily climb trees. Is that true or false? True. 
It's true. Yeah. Okay, true or false, Groundhog Day is annually celebrated in two countries, United States and Iceland. No, Canada. Who is behind me that knows every single one of these? Oh, my God. Mr. Frozen Fest. Okay, so that makes sense. All right, let's flip the page here. Okay, another true or false, and then we can keep going. True or false, groundhogs are one of the few species that enter into the true hibernation from approximately October to March or April each winter. True. That is true. Yep. We woke him up a little bit early for this event, but it's going to be good. He doesn't seem too upset. Okay, are we ready? Yeah? Okay, now is the moment we have all been waiting for. Jimmy the Groundhog, being creature of immense talent, is able to utilize his super senses on February 2nd each and every year to predict the arrival of spring. Jimmy, of course, is never wrong, never, guys. But while Jimmy has this incredible predictive talent, he's somewhat lacking in his ability to communicate his predictions. So for this, we annually rely on the city of Sun Prairie Mayor to assist us in this interspecies communication. Now, while Jimmy is never wrong, and of course, Mayor Paul Esser will do his very, very best to translate Jimmy's prediction accurately. It has been known to happen that a translation mistake occurs and an inaccurate prediction is broadcasted, but let's hope that's not the case this year. Jimmy and Mayor Esser, are you ready? Yes, we are. Okay. I have to go over there and talk to Jimmy, so I will go over there and have a conversation with him and he will tell me what he thinks it is. And I can see him glancing up at the sky and seeing what's going on. Now, Rebecca said sometimes he gets it wrong, but I think this year it's not gonna be a close call. I think he's gonna know, but let's find out. So what do you think, Jimmy? <laughs> All right, they're having a good conversation. All right. All right. a big siren, Well, I have heard from Jimmy, and here's what Jimmy had to say. He fortunately wrote it down for me. <laughs> And that's because of the, he said, sometimes the mayor makes a mistake. So we don't want that. So here's what Jimmy says. I am pleased to have so many of my loyal supporters with me here today to hear my forecast for the remainder of winter 2023 slash 24. This is the 76th time we groundhogs have given you our prediction. On this wintry February 2nd, I, Jimmy the Groundhog, have consulted the skies over Wisconsin and over Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, and determined them to be overcast. So I am unable to see my shadow in consideration of this. I therefore proclaim we will have early spring. Yay! Good job, Jimmy. You are a hit. This has been another good year for us. It absolutely had. So get your gardening gloves ready. Spring is coming soon every day, everybody. It is almost time for picnics in the park, bike rides, flying kites, and a lot of other fun activities. And I think there's a lot of happy people out there because that was the one that won when we did yes. that poll earlier. So we do want to invite everybody, stick around downtown Sun Prairie this morning, explore some of the Groundhog Day activities that are happening right now. There's a lot going on. You can head over to Beans and Cream Coffee House for Jimmy Latte. I already had one. It's delicious. Faded Roots Boutique opens early today at 7.30. So stop in and shop. And then Wisconsin Apparel selling some Jimmy stuffed animals in apparel. They're so cute. Stop into their shop to continue shopping and warm up, of course. Rosati Sun Prairie has pizza and sandwich specials going on all day today. And lastly, Jimmy the Groundhog mascot will be available 
for pictures immediately after. Thank you, everybody, for coming. And I am so happy for an early spring. Good job, Jimmy. Good job, Mayor. Yeah, Jimmy did a good job. Thank you, everyone, for coming to Sun Prairie. Have a good day. We'll see you next year. Thank you. Fun. Good job. Thanks for joining us for the Sun Prairie Groundhog Day prognostication. Todd Molesky, Sarah Molesky here with you. Uh, we have just heard it directly from Jimmy through the mayor. Spring is coming soon. Yep, it sure is. So, folks, sorry for those of you who are hoping for more winter. Spring is on its way. It feels like it might be starting right now, and it, it's sticking around it feels according warmer to Jimmy. already. Sure I mean, does. So just want to remind you of the sponsors and where those specials are if you're not familiar with Downtown Sun Prairie because you want to make sure you take advantage of those. So Beans and Cream Coffee House is right here um, near us on the square, um, just to the the east of where the prognostication just happened. So stop in there for a Jimmy Latte. Faded Roots Boutique is just around the corner from um, Beans and Cream Coffee House, just uh, slightly east down Main Street here. Um, Wisconsin Apparel is selling Jimmy stuffed animals and apparel. Uh, you see, you saw some here today. People have them, and we're holding them up, and they're proudly wearing the hats and their um, their T-shirts from past prognostications. So you can head west up Main Street, about a, bl a block, less than a block, yep. to Wisconsin Apparel, and get your Jimmy swag there. Uh, show it off to all your friends, um, and be the coolest kid on your block. Um, Rosati's is actually uh, behind us here, behind where the stage is here, head towards uh, down this angular street off the square. Um, and they've got pizza and sandwich specials going on all day today. So the, the Groundhog Fun doesn't stop here this morning, folks. You can get your Groundhog Fun all day. I don't think there's any Groundhog on the... Uh, the pizzas and sandwiches, oh, though. Um, and finally, uh, Jimmy is here for pictures here. along with um, our, our Cardinal and our Wolf of our, our wonderful high schools here in Sun Prairie. So make sure that you stop and get your picture with them. Um, and keep make sure the kids keep their fingers out of the Jimmy cage. I um, also want to give a big shout out to the presenting sponsor, the Bank of Sun Prairie, right here in Sun Prairie. Um, always a big supporter of Sun Prairie events that make Sun Prairie such a great place to live. Um, visit Sun Prairie in downtown Sun Prairie, Beans and Cream Coffee House, Au Pair in America, and the Josh Erickson American Family Insurance LLC. Uh, once again, I'm Sarah Molesky here with Todd Molesky. We're broadcasting live on Sun Prairie's very own radio station, 103.5, available on your radio dial, on the TuneIn app, and also on our Sun Prairie Media Center app. Um, also check out our three television production channels. We've got Kids 4 with all the content created by kids here in Sun Prairie. We've got um, K-Sun Now and K-Sun Live presenting all things that you need to know about Sun Prairie and a lot of entertainment too. So um, if you don't know about the Sun Prairie Media Center, you can stop by and ask us about it. We'd love to tell you more. And until next year, Happy Groundhog Day. Happy Groundhog Day, everybody.